Hey, Greg. Yeah. I think the courier's just dropped something off. Oh, it could be. I don't know what it could be. Oh, it's a star. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, seven days since when I ordered it. Wow. That's pretty good, isn't it? From the US of A. Jeez, okay. That's really hey. good, eh? You know, now, you're like a kid in a candy shop. I like am, <laughs> a little bit. Hey, um... I have watched so many people unbox these on yep. the internet. There's so many. So what I thought I'd do is I would film you unboxing. <laughs> oh, really? Because you okay. don't know anything about I it. I so don't we'll know anything about it. Yeah, okay. Okay. Let's do it. Are you sure? Oh, yes. Okay. Hi. <laughs> so here I am going to try and set up Starlink, although I'm the world's most techno muppet there is, so you're <laughs> gonna good luck with this. You'll probably want even better open the little box. <laughs> Don't you? <laughs> right, we've got a white bit of cardboard. We've got some packaging that looks pretty mm. intergalactic, doesn't it? We could use that for something else, I don't know. <laughs> pretty cool, we'll just throw that over there. Um, this looks like a stand. Yeah. So we'll put the stand down there. Um, another bit of cool packaging. Um, this looks like a dish. Mm. Which is really cool. Another bit of cardboard. And where am I going to put that? I'll put that down there. Put it right down there. Um, this looks like a, oh cool, like a little routery thing. Well done, yeah. That's, I'm pretty sure that's what Mr. Elon Musk has called it, a <laughs> routery thing. Yeah, it's pretty, like I said, I'm a techno muppet, but that looks pretty cool. Yeah, and of that um, on there, Yeah. That that's Orbit's. Of some description, I'll find out what. Oh, okay. Hmm. Like yeah. Earth and Mars, Mars or, or something, something like that. Or, or maybe a yeah, satellite orbits, probably. Yeah. And then we've got lots of cord in there Yeah. for the dish. Alright, okay. Okay, and uh, oh, the dish has got this weird little thing there. Oh, there's a weird plug. I don't really know where that plugs in. No. Possibly. Okay. Oh, I'm here. Right, okay. Um, now there's no instructions. Okay, you sure there's no instructions? Uh, oh, there's that. <laughs> That's the only instructions. So I suppose you just set up the satellite, plug it into the router, and then use the app. Right, okay. Oh, I can't be that really surely. No. Right, oh, so there's the dishy bit. Uh, can you can you assemble it? Is it is it sandy proof or not? Might be. Oh, oh. <laughs> shivers. I mean, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's in the stand. Okay, very good. Okay. Right, oh, I'll go and uh, put it up outside, eh? Cool. Hey, so um, I I know, actually know that um, we need. I've done some work with the app. I know where we need to put the uh, the dish. Uh, dishy, they call them. Dishy, yep. Yeah. Uh, so how about I do that and then run the cord back in the window. Okay. And then we can see if we can set up the rest of it. Cool. cool. Sounds good. Actually, just one question I've got for you. Yeah. How did you know where to put it there? What oh, did you use the app or something? Yeah, there's a uh, there's a thing on the app. I'll uh, I'll show you. Actually, it's quite cool. You point it up at the sky and move it all around where you where you want to put the dish, and it says whether it's a good place or a bad place. So. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, cool. So that's something you prepared earlier. Yes, it is. Yes, <laughs> yes I've played with the app well before the Starlink <laughs> box arrived. Don't okay, worry. Okay, righty ho. <laughs> right. So this is from the satellite dish. Plugging the satellite into the router thing. Yep. Is it going easy? 
Uh, yeah, just sort of have to push it in a bit, make yeah. it a bit flush, but yeah, okay. yeah. cool. Right, you're always telling me off for not forcing things, yeah, right, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I am. So, I did it very delicately putting it in there, very yeah. good, very good. And now we get the cord, yep, and plug it in. Where's it going? Don't know. Oh, yep, there's a oh, light there's on, a light there, yep, yep. lovely, okay. right on. Now, what do you do? Uh, you go on the app. Okay. So we've done that bit, that bit, and that bit. So now we go on the app. Okay, so you've already downloaded the app. Yes. Just Starlink. Yep. And you've been mucking around with it. Yes, I that's, have. that's what you do. Yes, it is. So I've just got the app here, and it's got start set up, which seems pretty obvious. Yeah. Uh, check for obstructions, which you've already done. I've already done, So yeah. you've already found that, yep. yep. I have a location, yep, I do. I click that. Plug in your Starlink, yeah, that's all plugged in, so next. Join the network, open Wi-Fi settings. Now, yep. Uh, they, <laughs> Elon, <laughs> Elon Musk has decided to call the default network stinky. <laughs> Not sure what the reasoning is there, okay. probably because everyone's going to change the name. So. Right, so clicking on stinky. Yep. And it should... Look at that. So, right, so it wants a Wi-Fi name, so we'll call it our caravan name, because oh, we will okay. be using it on our caravan. So yep. our caravan's name is Neverick, yep. which is caravan backwards. Cool. <laughs> and I will put in a... Secret password. How about... How about one, just, two... Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, no one gets that. No. Great. Neverick's got a space in it. Yeah. At the end. Dun, so dun, dun. Network, username Neverick with their password that we got from NASA. Yes, that's right. Special NASA, yes, that's right. Hopefully. Uh oh, why is Stinky still there? I saw Neverick. There's Neverick. Neverick, we've joined him. We're joining. We're trying to join. Mm hmm. Oh yeah, done. Okay. So is that it? Uh, pretty sure. But just could go back to the to the app. Can you change to the app? And connecting. She's connecting. See starlight. And the satellites move. They see the dishes. Oh, move. he's turning. Yeah, move. move from up to mm -hmm. flat. Cool. Okay, so I've just got a question. Mm -hmm. that everyone want to know, why are we setting up in a house and not a caravan? Right, excellent question, excellent question, so glad you asked. Hey, what, uh, the caravan is getting the fridge repaired in the North Island, and we've come down to uh, visit uh, Dad and help tidy up the house around, you know, yeah. In the South Island, yeah, yeah. so we oh. thought, oh, so it's all done. Done. Wow. Wow. Do a speed test. Oh, I need to do a speed test. Oh, you click the speed button. Speed I don't know whether it'll do it then. Yeah, baby. It's... Wow. I'm pretty happy with that. So what would we normally get? 30. 30, really? Yeah. And it's one... One well, VDSL here, so it's, yeah, okay. 20 to 30 oh. on a good day. Don't really know what that means, but if Greg says it's good, that's it's good. good. Yeah. Jeepers, that's amazing, isn't it? Wow, okay. How long since we unpackaged it? Oh, five minutes? Might a bit be more? 10, ten, minutes, ten, minutes, ten minutes, minutes? Yeah. Ten minutes to 135 megabits, that's amazing. And that was with a Muppet doing it. So if you actually know what you're doing, I'd say you do it a lot quicker than what I did. If, if, uh, if uh, Elon Musk's electric cars are as good as his Starlink, then. They'll go, they'll go a long way, won't they? Yeah, we'll, they will. we'll have to get one. We'll have to get, oh, we we'll need to get one that toasts a caravan. Yeah, we do. The ute. He's doing, he yeah, does okay. a ute. Okay, does he yeah. do a ute? Yeah, okay. He does. Yeah. I don't really want to be the first one to try that one out, though. <laughs> um, oh, that's really cool. Cool. And so the, these are just the instructions. Yeah. Which is really quite amazing. That, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm really proud of myself. That's really cool. <laughs> Oh, no, I'm very proud of Sandy too. I thought she did very well with uh, very little help from me. So there you go. Hey, a bit of a summary of the Starlink internet. The reason we went for Starlink internet was so we can have uh, internet anywhere. And that's a bit of a, uh, 
that's a bit of a plus on in my opinion we don't have to decide where to go on uh, whether there's cell coverage or not then there's the cost of the kit so that's uh, thousand and forty dollars which is unbelievably expensive so that's definitely a bit of a minus there's no option to pay it off or do installments or anything like that it's front with the cash or don't get the kit so it's a bit of a minus seven day delivery out of the USA so Starlink must be doing something right because uh, sometimes it takes longer to get stuff out of Auckland than that so yep that's a bit of a plus the monthly charge $159 a month Wow, that is expensive. Hey, but um, if you are working remotely, then maybe that's a, a justifiable charge. Then on top of that, there's the RV option, another $40 a month. So the RV option allows you to connect anywhere without having to talk to Starlink and change your address. So, yeah, well, obviously we've only had it in one location so far, so I'll let you know how that goes. With the RV option also, you can pause the service. So if you were thinking about going overseas for a couple of months or you're going to park up where there is good wired internet or something, then um, you could pause the service for a couple of months. So that's, that's a plus. And then support. Haven't had to use the support, obviously, so far. But it is email only, and it's out of the USA. There is no phone number, so you can't uh, you can't ring them. I'll uh, I'll let you know how that goes if we need to use it. Okay, so that's Starlink. Obviously, I'm going to have another video on how it goes out in the field. Uh, we're going to mount the the dishy to our caravan somewhere, and we want to work out how it's going to work uh, off grid for us. So there'll be another video for that. Yeah, we've got some other good videos coming up, so uh, thanks for watching.